I'm gonna play a video for you now. It's gonna show you exactly what I'm gonna teach you in this particular training session today. It's really kind of high level use of Camtasia using things like placeholders, etc. Really hope you like the video and if you do, stick around because I'm gonna teach you how I did it. Okay, so hopefully you liked that video. I hope that was useful. Now I'm gonna tell you exactly how I made that video. Before I do that, I'm just gonna make a couple of announcements. Firstly, if you see this video before the 14th of September, 2022, you are gonna have the opportunity to join me in a webinar. I've been using Camtasia since 2006. I've made many videos for many big organizations like National Geographic, King's College University, Pearson Education, Macmillan, just to name a few. And I'm gonna show you some of my favorite tricks working with Camtasia and particularly working with Camtasia 2022. If you wanna join that webinar, then below there is a link to come and join me and I'll also be releasing on that day a playlist of six videos that will give you complete training in using Camtasia. I will also add the links to that playlist after the 14th of September when the uh, webinar has been held and the playlist is released. So a great opportunity if you want to join me don't forget link below sign up 14th of September, completely free, sponsored by TechSmith Camtasia. Now I'm gonna show you how I made the video that we watched at the beginning. Really hope you like it. Let's have a look. So starting right from the scratch in Camtasia, first thing, come up to your project and make sure you've got your the actual canvas set to 1920 pixels by 10080. Click on apply, don't worry about the background color. Come over to annotations and the first thing that we need to do is to grab a white square and place it on the track, we'll put it onto track one. Now what we want to do with that square is make it so that its size is one quarter of the size of the canvas because we're going to have divide this canvas into four parts and the easiest way to do that is to look at the canvas size so if we come back again to the project settings you know that it's 1920 by 10080 so if we were to half both the size and the height so both the width and the height we will get a quarter of the complete uh, size of the canvas so let me do that by just simply coming over here and you just want to scroll down a little bit okay click on the first one because we're going to write in here the correct width and height You'll see in a minute why I'm doing this I'm going to use this to create a placeholder so 960 will be the width and the height will be 540. Press enter and now we have a square. Now we're gonna make four copies of that. So we're gonna copy that and just paste it. One, two, three. We're gonna shift them all into the corner. Sorry, right to the beginning. So they're all nice and flush. We've now got four squares. We just click on them and we're gonna move them. One there, one there one down there and one there. We've now got on the screen perfectly placed four squares. And what we so we've now got these four squares on the screen. And what we can do is we're gonna convert these into placeholders. Now, we've actually got control as well over how long we want the placeholders to stay on the screen. So let me just show you what I mean. If I was to right click here now and click on convert to placeholders, you'll see we now have four placeholders on the screen. But how long do we want them to stay on for? At the moment, this video is about five seconds long because by default, when you put an object onto the screen, a picture or a shape, it stays on the screen for five seconds. Now I could, if I want to extend that, say, well, I actually want it to stay on for longer, okay? So I do have that option, but actually I'm, I'm quite happy with the default setting. So we've now got our placeholder. Now, so that we never have to do that again, what we're gonna now do is select all four of those, right click, 
and click on add to library and we're going to call this four squares or basically four spaces or four media let's call it four media okay so four media places okay just as a reminder for me to understand okay where well you're going to use the canvas size which is full screen click on OK and the great thing is that we've now got that saved in our library now what does that mean well let me just quickly delete what we've got on the screen and show you what exactly what that means anytime now I can come up to my library come to my default library choose four media places and grab those and drop those onto the screen and there I've got that now all I need to do is to begin to place the media inside the four placeholders so this is really where the power begins so if I just drag that down to first track it'd be better and easier to do I'm going to click on plus because I want to open up the four placeholders and this is really where the power starts so I'm going to go to our Camtasia 2022 library I'm going to go to this section on titles I've been making a lot of use of these almost instantly since uh, Camtasia 2022 came out I'm going to choose this one here big type I'm going to drag that into the first placeholder and click on ripple replace now notice actually that it's slightly shorter that animation slightly shorter than the amount of time that the placeholder is available but that's no problem what I'm going to do is just copy that so I'm just going to copy okay move the playhead to here I'll paste it in again and it will notice don't worry about this it will ignore this because it will only play for the period of time that the placeholders on the screen now for the second one I'm going to go to my default library this is going to depend completely where you keep your media and I'm going to drag a video in and place that in the second placeholder again holding it over wait until it changes to that kind of green color let go choose ripple replace again it may mean that the video is longer than the period of time the placeholder is on the screen just ignore it make no difference at all now let's do another one so we're going to come down again let's perhaps choose this one here we're going to drag this one onto the screen okay and I'll put it onto this one here again I'm hovering it over I'm waiting till it kind of turns green I've got my cursor right in the middle let go and click on ripple replace and now what I'm going to do is add some text into this placeholder so I'm going to go back again to the Camtasia D4 let's try another one just to vary it a little bit there's lots of um, nice ones that we can work with the one that I chose earlier was I think we called boxy slides let's see if I can find it I think it's here at the top there it is so boxy rolling name I'm going to grab that and I'm going to drag that into that placeholder so I've now done and again ripple replace I've now added all my media now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close that down so I don't want to do any more editing there and if we now play that you'll see that it works absolutely perfectly super quick break from the video don't forget if you want to join me on the 14th of September 2022 I will be delivering a webinar all about some of the work that I do with Camtasia particularly looking at Camtasia 2022 it's completely free there's no tricks it's sponsored by TechSmith Camtasia and on that day I will also be adding up or sharing a playlist of six videos to take you through Camtasia in detail all you need to do on this screen link is below in the description is put your name last name email address confirm your email address quickly read the information and register we will send you a link or TechSmith Camtasia will send you a link and you'll be able to join me for that training session and there you can see it working on the screen wonderful slightly different to the one I've done before because I did these in different positions but I could always change that I could always come back here and edit if I wanted and say well actually I want this one here and this is where the real power comes in watch this I'm just going to choose the rolling text I'm going to drag that and place it here okay so it will replace now the image and then the image ones so I'm going to have to come back to my default and I'm going to replace this one and swap it over again just moving the playhead over the placeholder wait until it changes green click on it and then replace 
ripple. So now if I play that, you'll see that that actually now is very much like the example I've showed. Now, if we click on closing that, and this is the great trick, I'm gonna now copy that whole thing. So I'm back into the main timeline. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna come over to click here and paste. So we've got that, that media twice now. And if I just play that very quickly, you'll see at the moment, of course, it just repeats, but you've seen what I just did a moment ago, and that I do have the ability to just replace the media. So I'll just do it very quickly now. I'm gonna click here. I'm opening up now the second animation. Remember, I copied the animation a second time, and I'm just gonna just switch one video just so you can see how easy it is to do. So I'm gonna drag on this one, and I'm gonna drag that one, for example, into here. Okay, again, ripple replace, just make sure it's funk right over the top of it, let it go, ripple replace, and now, again, we can close that now and go back to the main timeline. We've now got it twice on the screen. And if I just use my playhead here, you can see you've got the first video and text and then the second. Now there's a couple more things here. First of all, you might say to me, Russell, well, what about the text? The text, you haven't changed it. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to do that. And of course, the other thing is how to change the music. So let me quickly show you how you would update the text. Let's go back to the first animation. Remember, we copied the animation and placed it on twice. So we click here to edit by clicking on the four plus, it opens it up. And you notice it kind of opens up a special section on the timeline where you're only now editing these four parts. It's really easy to do. Just click on that particular piece of media. You've got the text over here. So let's say, for example, I'm gonna put my name, put Russell. Okay, click on enter. And now that text has been updated. And I could do exactly the same with the other one. So just coming over to the other piece of text, click on it here. Okay, so again, actually this second piece of text here, just click on it here. Notice that you've got the three words, create, teach, inspire. So I could write something completely different. For and just to save time, I've already written it in, TechSmith Camtasia 2022. Once I've done that, close that down, and now the text would be updated. And if I just drag that through, you'll see that it's TechSmith Camtasia 2022. Uh, etc. So one final thing, what about the music? Well, I'm gonna move this, gonna select the whole thing, put it onto second uh, track. I always say channel, it's a track. Come up to Camtasia 2022, I'm gonna come right up to the top, I'm gonna choose audio. I'm gonna choose this one here, drive electric drum. I really like it, I've been using it a lot already. I've used it with a client already. I'm gonna shift over to the end of that tech of that audio sorry and delete it because i don't want it playing after the animation so i'm just going to cut that there and then delete that off the screen so we've now got a nice piece of audio that's going to go along but the one last secret another great feature in camtasia is we're going to fade it out so i'm just going to drop that on fade it I always like leaving the fade to a little bit towards the end. And finally, we have that video completed just like we'd done the first time round. Let's play it and see if it's working. So let's just play the beginning of the video. And let's just have a look at the end. I really like the bit where it fades out. Let's just play the last part. Really professional, really like that. And that's um, a really would be a nice opening to a video, what we call a splash screen or an intro. I think that would work really well. Okay, really hope that was useful. Below is the link if you want to sign up to the webinar. And also there's a link if you want to download and use Camtasia for free for four weeks. Thank you very much.